Welcome to the web tutorial, accessing NHATS and NSOC files. First, let's go over what you can expect to learn. We will start with an overview of registering for NHATS and NSOC data files. We will then describe additional procedures needed to access sensitive data files, including NSOC. Finally, we will demonstrate how to download public use and sensitive data files. A separate tutorial reviews how to access NHATS and NSOC restricted data files. Registration is required for users to access data files. Let's take a look at the website. To become a registered NHATS user, navigate to the data page on the NHATS website. New users can register on the right-hand side of the page, whereas returning users can log in on the left-hand side. Either your username or the email that you use to register can be used to log into the website along with your password. As a registered user, you are agreeing to certain conditions for use of the data. You agree that you will not attempt to identify participants, you will not share the data, you will only use the data for scientific purposes, you will report disclosures to NHATS, you will report any data flaws or errors to NHATS, you will cite the data, and you will send citations for any publications to NHATSdata at westat.com. If you receive NIH funding, you should also plan to obtain a PMC ID for your publication. To obtain access to sensitive data files, after registering you will need to complete an additional application. The completed application form is submitted to NHATSdata at westat.com. As a sensitive data applicant, you agree to certain conditions of use. You agree to the conditions that apply to both sensitive and public use data. Additional conditions include obtaining signatures for all project staff on the supplemental agreement form, restrictions on cell sizes and tabulations for distribution or publication, and agreeing to conditions for return or destruction of the data and in the event of confidentiality breaches. More information on conditions of use for sensitive files is included in the Sensitive Data Supplemental Agreement form. Next, let's take a look at how to download public and sensitive files. The NHATS public use data files are available under Data and then Public Use. You will be required to log in using your username or registered email and password. Once logged in, you will see that the page is organized by rounds. For each round of the annual files, the user may choose SAS or STATA files. Each zip file contains the data, codebooks, format statements for SAS users, and a README file. Users who want to access the clock drawing images will download a separate zip file that contains individual TIFF files, one for each clock drawing. Once you are approved, Access to sensitive data files will appear on the sensitive and restricted data files page. If you have access to NSOC files, they will appear here at the top, organized by round. If you have access to sensitive NHATS files, they will appear below the NSOC files. The NHATS sensitive files are organized by round, with separate columns for sensitive SP and OP files. The user may choose SAS or STATA files. Each zip file contains the data, codebooks, format statements for SAS users, and a README file. This tutorial was produced by Men Yahoo, Sarah Patterson, and Vicki Friedman with funding from the National Institute on Aging. This ends the Accessing NHATS and NSOC Files web tutorial. Comments and questions may be sent to nhatsdata at westat.com.